My name is Desmond Kyo, founder and president of Haifa Limestone here at our headquarters in West Palm Beach. Limestone, to make it simple, therms is a sedimentary rock. All limestones are calcium carbonate. They are fossilized shells, bones. Just because it's a limestone doesn't mean it's soft. Clients ask me that all the time. Isn't limestone soft? It depends on the quarry. Each one is different. So limestones go from very soft, like Florida Keystone, or some of the white limestones, to the French limestone or Jerusalem stone that's very, very dense and you can use even on a kitchen countertop. There's a huge variation, quarry to quarry, country to country. Most of the quarries that we import from are the ancient seabeds of two, three, four, five hundred million years ago. We do a lot of material from Italy, Portugal, Spain, all around the Mediterranean. So you could work your way through Croatia, Albania, Turkey, Greece, uh, Israel, um, Lebanon even. There's some limestone here in America, uh, mainly in the Southwest, Texas and uh, uh, the, the central states. Israel is only limestone. There's no marble, no granite, no onyx. It's just limestone in Israel. Brazil has a lot of granite. So there are regions that have both and there are regions that just have one. I basically buy what I like uh, if aesthetically I like it and I think it has uh, potential, we have to extract the blocks out of the quarry. Now there's a whole entire process. It's expensive, it starts with geologists doing core samples. So they will go out and do core samples that are about two or three inches in diameter and they will go straight down, <clears throat> 30, 40, 50 feet, whatever depth they have to go. They take the core sample up and they can see the color they can see the fissures, they can see if it's got, if it's suitable for blocks, because if you're taking out blocks, you can't have massive amount of fissures and cracks because it's just not gonna be suitable. So that's one of the biggest challenges with quarries is getting a vein or they call a strata in the quarry that's fissure crack free. Just because I'm able to get French Pompignon for 15 years, and in 2004, very popular, dense, gray, warm limestone. Designers loved it in New York. And all of a sudden I couldn't get it. And they were kind of incensed that, why? Well, the quarry changed. So for 10 years, they took out material that was not suitable for slabs and blocks. But the good news is now it's back. I was in Italy last week and Pompignon is back. Every quarry has surprises. Sometimes it gets better, sometimes it depletes, sometimes it gets worse. So we're always dealing with that challenge. That's where I come in 34 years of visiting quarries, dealing with blocks, not alone understanding the quarry, but the layers within the quarry. Because some quarries, we have 15 layers and they're all different. And some quarries are very simple. They're very straightforward, one layer, it varies. The size of the block depends on the quarry. So most blocks can be, you know, nine, 10 feet long, six feet by six feet. A block like that is gonna weigh about 30 tons. You put the block in, they set the blades by the thickness you want the slabs, and it cuts all night. For granite, it can take three days to cut a block. For limestone, it'll probably go through a block in about 12 to 18 hours. And then you have a block that will yield 50 slabs or 70 slabs. For the most part, the block are extracted from the quarry and then gang sawed into slabs, sometimes at the quarry or as close as possible to the quarry. Because the thing with the stone business, the shorter distance you have to transport, 30 tons, the better. You don't want to bring the waste factor around the world. We want the waste factor at the quarry or as close to it as possible. So we're actually shipping the slabs that are acceptable quality, I don't want slabs going in a container that are in any way defective because I'm going to ship them around the world only to reject them. So that's why I do a lot of trips. I want to catch it at the factory, the quarry. The sooner I catch it, the better. It's a $10 issue right there. It's a $100,000 issue if it makes it to Palm Beach. And it's even worse if it gets to the job. So 
you want to identify the best material as early in the process as possible. 